could everyone what to have here actually is dimension and before we start to get to know what dimension is dimension is a physical quantity dimension physical quantity index of each of the fundamental quantity which represents that quantity physical quantity is the index of each of the physical quantity which express that quantity out so now this is it. that and we have some fundamental quantities uh, so now most uh, f some fundamental quantities are mass mass time length temperature and so on so and for the fundamental quantity mass will be, is, will be written as m to express that quant physical quantity to be, it will be written as m and the time t length l and temperature is k kelvin and so on so now this is the fundamental we know what the dimension is now M moving into to look for the dimension of velocity velocity the dimension of velocity so dimension of velocity no velocity is what this distance over time taken distance covered over time taken now the distance covered over time taken and the distance is measured in meters which is measured in meter and is in length so it's a length so we put present the distance as l and the time is in time of for the fundamental quantity which is t so the time will write it as t so then after this it can also be written as l over one multiply one over t is it so l times one one times t so now, the next step is to say l times then yeah what's gonna use use the law of indices on the in mathematics law of indices which well if we have one over x to get so x is power minus one so that's the law law we're gonna use here so it will be t raised to power minus one so l t minus one l t minus one for velocity let's move further to acceleration acceleration which has acceleration is given by changing velocity over time then in velocity we've, we've gotten velocity which is lt minus 1 so it will be lt minus 1 added by time t so then this we can also write it as lt minus 1 over time sorry lt minus 1 times 1 over t times 1 over t so we we'll apply the same law of indices here lt minus 1 please our advice to go read up law of indices on the math in, in, in mathematics so so it will be multiply t minus one then here still apply law of indices it, they will have a uh, law of indices which says if we have x a multiply x b to be x a plus b this law here so apply it here so it will now l t minus one plus minus one so it will be l t minus one minus one which is l t minus one minus one is minus two l t minus two this is for acceleration then we will go into the next one which is lastly for force 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 is equal to mass times acceleration mass times acceleration and then the force here is equal to the mass is m times acceleration of which we've already gotten it l t minus two which is l t minus two so multiplying this we have m l t minus two dimension for force so then let's move to the last uh, last one is work done dimension for work done dimension for work done is force multiplied distance force multiplied distance of which we've already gotten the force m l t minus two just apply it here so you should be m l t minus two multiply the distance is l is l so let's take up then let's take out the l force to solve it now this is let, let's bring out the l separate to solve this l this is just by one this is multiply l raised to power one so if we use the law of indices to be l one plus one which is equals to l two so let's put it here now it will be m l square t minus two so this is for work done and so on so thank you please don't forget to like share and subscribe